Hanoi FC booked their ticket to the AFC Champions League by winning their domestic league in 2022 and make their debut at home against three times tournament winners Pohang Steelers of Korea in the Maiding National Stadium. Team news for Hanoi, Bozadar Bandovic is able to call upon captain and Vietnam player of the year Nguyen Van Kuit. For Pohang, Zeka starts up front alongside captain Kim Song Dai. Home team Hanoi have started well and it's Yevtovic on the right-hand side. He lofts a good ball deep into the penalty area. It's nicely laid off and the ball comes back. And it's a volley from the captain. It's blocked on the line brilliantly from the defender. It's hit him square in the chest. Nguyen Van Kuyt almost opening the scoring with a brilliant volley. Oberdan just committing the foul there and it's Hanoi with a free kick. It's sent deep and it's a strong header. It's a great save from Huang in Jay. Pham to end high, just stealing in at the back post. And the defence was almost caught napping, but that's a great reaction save. And Wanderson lining up a shot driven in. Well, he said before the game it would be a dream to play in the AFC, and he almost had a dream volley. He's absolutely belted that one. It's Wanderson again, this time opts for the cross, and there's a mix-up in the fence, and it's ended up in the back of the net. Confusion in the defence. Zeka pressuring Damien Latalek. And VAR will check this, but it will go down as an own goal. Pohang on the attack. Han Chang Lee feeds in Zeka. He's turned around the corner, and that's a cool, calm finish. Clinical from Min Ho Yoon. It's hard on Hanoi, who have held their own up to this point, but that's brilliant. It's a delicious flick from Zeka. Here's Zeka again. He's ridden that challenge. He's been in fine form in the K-League. And he's got an overlap here with Kim In-sung. And he finds the bottom left-hand corner to make it 3-0. Clinical from Pohang. Excellent attacking display, and it's hard on Hanoi. And they go into the break 3-0 down, wondering what they have to do to climb this mountain. But the second half starts where it left off, and it's Zeka breaking into the box. And he's laid it off again, and on the right-hand side, it's bent in. Fourth goal for Pohang. Goalkeeper Boy Tan Tron can do nothing about that. Zeka's tormenting their defence, and it's another goal down the right-hand side. And here come Hanoi. They haven't given up. They had their chances in the first half, and it could have been so different, and that's a great finish to bring one back. Joel Tago with a smart finish with the left foot. The Cameroonian striker well set up from the Brazilian Kayan and Hanoi with a chance to show what they can do up front. They've had their chances and it could have been so different in the first half. And here come Hanoi again. They don't know when they're beaten and it's Joel Tago again. A nice turn and another goal. He grabs a brace. He puts a little bit of gloss on the scoreline. In truth, both teams have been going at it hammer and tongs for the full 90 minutes and full credit to Hanoi who've been attacking as well. And the final chance falls to Vanderson. That really sums up what has been a free-flowing, attacking style of football from both teams. Be exciting to see how Hanoi fare in their next game as they travel to champions Urara Red Diamonds. And as for Pohang Steelers, well, it's a home game against Wuhan, three towns of China. Final score of an incredible attacking game, Hanoi to Pohang Steelers 4.